Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the sound system demo of the 2023 BMW i7 and its 35 speaker Bowers & Wilkins Diamond Surround audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review, we're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio adjustments, inputs, speaker controls, sorry, speaker locations, and audio controls, then we're going to head out onto the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now, if you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning and you just want to hear the music, click ahead in the video. We've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And if you'd like to hear even more on this system, check the link in the description for our members-only sound test. I recorded some video listening to real music, if you will, some of my personal music, some of the member-requested tracks. So if you want to see those and support the channel, check the link in the description. Before we get started, hop out and take a look at it. This is one of my favorite cars so far to date. BMW i7. This thing, despite looking a little crazy, is so, so nice to drive. Has an excellent amount of tech inside and very functional tech as well. And this one just happens to be all electric, but you can also get them in the gasoline powertrains. We're not going to have too much coverage on the i7 right now, but once we get one back at DMHQ, we'll do a lot more testing. So check the links in the description if you want to see more. Now we always do these tests with lossless uncompressed wave files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system, and high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. I recommend wearing headphones so you can hear exactly what I hear in the driver's seat. We also do these tests with the sound settings set to their factory default, so let's take a look at those now. Here we have BMW's iDrive 8, we bring it back to life here. In the media screen, it can be uh, controlled with both the center knob and the touchscreen functionality. We're gonna go over to sound. Whole lot of sound options for this one, so let's start right off, off at the top. Sound profiles, you've got studio, concert, on stage, and rear. Studio is going to give you the most pure sound experience as though you were sitting in a music studio. No sort of artificial remixing or anything like that. Concert's gonna give you a little bit more of a 3D experience as though you were sitting at a concert. The music's gonna be a little bit more uh, hopped up a little bit more surrounding you and then on stage is going to be the most dramatic most 3d experience and rear is going to focus the music for the rear seats and optimize it back there so let's go through those now And if you like the overall sound of the 3D experience, but you want it a little stronger or a little less strong, then you can go over here to 3D intensity and actually dial it up or down. I'm going to restart this track because we're gonna be doing a lot of static stuff here at the beginning. So we're gonna need this going multiple times. Once the track gets going again, we'll go through the 3D intensity. Below that, you have adjustments for the 4D bass experience. So there are actually speakers in the seats, they're called exciters, and they actually provide a little bit of a, of a fake bass bumping experience. And for some people that's really cool, and some people it's a little weird, so fortunately you can change the levels of all those as well. You can go off, all the way up to maximum where it honestly feels like I'm getting a seat massage in here. It's pretty funky. But now that the song's going, let's go back to the 3D experience adjust the intensity up and down. And then down here you can actually adjust how intense you want the surround intensity for each individual seat. And that's because there are two speakers in each of these headrests as well that are taking care of that 3D experience and, and the surround sound experience. So if your passenger wants a little bit more of a dramatic 3D experience, but you don't, you can customize that all out how you like. Pretty darn useful. And you can reset everything there with a click of a button. Below that, you have this cool experience the sound feature and I like that Bowers and Wilkins and BMW are doing this it allows you to flex the system a little bit without any sort of high def inputs in or if you don't have a song in mind you can simply click this and have the system be shown off
I think that's pretty great for them to offer that. I think it adds the wow factor of the sound system, which is what people are looking for at this price point. Then you have your standard treble and bass adjustments. Let's go through those. adjustments for front rear left right fader and balance and another feature I appreciate a nine band equalizer so if just bass and treble aren't enough for you you can really tweak exactly how you want your sound to sound for your personal preferences and that is it for audio adjustments pretty comprehensive we're gonna go back to studio for most of this test but we might toggle through a few of the other sound profiles as we drive for audio controls in the i7 you have a volume roller right here Kind of typically do it with your thumb if you're just kind of doing volume or if you're using the center rotary knob you kind of use your third finger scroll up and down you also have volume on the right side of the wheel here nice clicky buttons for track selection if you're on the proper screen you can either use the touch screen or the rotary knob you do have some track buttons right here forward and backward i like that bmw has included that and then you can go back and forth or up and down and scroll through tracks using the wheel. Lots of ways to still physically control your audio. I really appreciate that. For audio inputs in the i7, you have, let's see, do you have AM radio? Sometimes it's becoming more and more of a question. No, see, no AM radio. A lot of electric vehicles don't have AM radio because the frequency of the electric motors actually interferes with the AM radio signal. So just FM, Sirius XM, USB-C ports, support for wireless and wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Some streaming services right here. I see Spotify and YouTube. That's pretty cool. In fact, let's bring this up. Daily Motor I4. Mercedes-Benz is turning electric. Oof! Savage Mercedes-Benz ad. Look at that! It's Daily Motor Inception. We're watching a Daily Motor video in a Daily Motor video. <laughs> Uh, I like that. That's pretty cool. You're welcome, BMW. I'm double promoting your content right now. I'm in the i7 watching a video on the i4. <laughs> that's fun. And I'm sure you can cast that to the giant theater screen that's in the back that we will be doing probably a breakout review on. I don't think it's worth getting into it for this test. Anything else for audio inputs? Let's see. Audio source. That looks to be about it. So what does that mean you're missing? Well, no 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, no USB type A. But other than that, I think you've got just about all you need and I'm sure they can add more streaming services with an over the air update. Speaker locations. This is one that I rehearsed, so y'all should be proud of me for this one. Starting in the bottom left with one of 35, you've got woofer there, one, mid-range-ish tweeter-ish there, two, three, tweeter, four, five, tweeter, and mid-range up there, six, seven, eight, on the right side. Then, you've got up top, nine, 10, 11, 12 for these surround tweeters. Moving into the back. I should have pressed the button. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Then, in all the seats, you've got 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, up top, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and coming into the trunk. These electric vehicles have to have trunk mounted subwoofers because there's no room for woofers under the seats because of the battery. Number 35, right there. Now the 7 Series, because it doesn't have batteries underneath, has two under the seat woofers. I haven't listened to it yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if this one sounds better because this subwoofer is quite powerful. Okay, with all that out of the way, I'm gonna get this stuff put away so that we can get out on the road.
35 speaker sound system here in the i7. I'd love to hear it. Another S tier system from BMW. They've killed it with this one. Like I said, my only tweak would be a little bit extra bass. I think when you're talking this level, you should have rumbly, uh, rumbly sort of shattering the windows kind of bass. They try to make up for it a little bit with the NC exciters, but it's not really the same as just having a good soul satisfying bass. But either way, nice job BMW. I love it. it sounds excellent. One of my top, I'd say top 10 favorite systems I've ever tested. So thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to see more on the i7, check the links in the description and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor and as always, drive on. Oh, 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 oh,